Joseph Turner, my man, how have you been? I'd like to welcome you back to the group and I thank you for your fight request. But before I get into the fight request, people, I'm going to ask the usual that you would share, like, hit the bell notification. And as I always say, if you're watching, you might as well subscribe. So let's get into it. The fight that Joseph wanted me to cover is a fight between two legendary powerhouse heavyweights by the names of Sonny Liston and Lennox Lewis. And this fight is somewhat hard to analyze because of the different the different variables. They both had great jabs, although I feel Lennox Lewis's jab is slightly better, but Sonny Liston's may be harder. I'm not sure. I'm just speculating. They both have tremendous power and they both fought in great heavyweight eras against top quality opposition, which is why this fantasy fight makes perfect sense to make. But I will say that with that much power in the ring, someone is getting stopped. But the question is who? Who's going to establish their jab and who's going to hit the target? I will say that Sonny Liston is the tougher of the two and he appears to have the better chin. So that's one advantage I see him having. But Lennox Lewis does have a height advantage. Um, their reach is about the same. So the jabs would definitely be present in this fight. But when Sonny Liston threw his jab, a lot of times he would leave it hanging out there, inviting a counter right, which was one of Lennox Lewis's best weapons. But Sonny Liston does have excellent head movement and a great overhand right, which could put Lewis to sleep if he connected with it. Sonny seemed quicker than Lewis, but Lennox could easily offset the speed with his jab. But where I see Sonny running into trouble is taking those uppercuts from Lennox. Lennox Lewis definitely wins the jabbing contest. And not only does Lennox Lewis use that jab as a weapon, but he's, he's good at measuring his opponents with that jab and, and setting them up for either a straight right an overhand right, a right hook, or an uppercut. Sonny Liston does have good hand speed and devastating power. But getting back to the way he leaves his jab hanging out there could spell disaster. And Lennox is a pure technician. Great timing and counterpunching abilities. Now Lennox Lewis has to come in at 100%. Because if Sonny catches him cold, it could be good night. <laughs> but I just feel that Lewis has more weapons in the arsenal and more tools in the tool bag. And I said this fight could be a jabbing contest. But the more that I think about it, I'm not sure that Sonny Liston could jab with Lennox Lewis. Because Lennox Lewis has a snapping jab that he can throw high, he can throw it in the center, he can throw it low, and he's so good at measuring distance. And I'll go back to something I always say, and I truly believe in the evolution of boxing, that boxers get better as the years go by because of advancements in training and different methods of fighting. So Lennox definitely has the benefits of an advanced era. Both fighters are great legends, but I just feel that Lewis is the more technically sound of the two and an all around better fighter. And Lennox is just so massive. And if he leans his weight down on Sonny Liston, he's going to wear him out. I love Sonny, but I just think that Lennox Lewis would be too much for him and that Lewis would win this fight in brutal fashion. I'm going to say that Lennox Lewis knocks him out 
in seven rounds. Those are my thoughts. Please let me know what you think. I'll see you next time.